Good morning. It's Monday. It's Shibashi time. Hope you've all had a lovely weekend. We've had a fabulous one. Got to see Tina and Kerry at long last. Um, and uh, check out that they have actually got legs because we've just been chatting to them on Zoom. So all we've seen is, is them from the waist up. So uh, yes, their bottom halves are still intact. Hi Jane, good morning. Um, so we've had a lovely weekend. Weather's been glorious. Um, so taking advantage of the outside space we've got here and uh, lots of late nights, a little bit too much alcohol, but um, all in a good cause. So yeah, morning, morning. Um, I've been bitten by something actually on, on, uh, on my leg there. I got bitten on Saturday morning and it's one of those sort of itchy hot area things. So I don't know what it was that bit me, but um, if I have a bit of an itch, you'll all start scratching as well, I expect. Hi, Jean. Good morning. Yeah, we saw Teen and oh, it was, it was just so nice. We haven't seen her since January. So uh, um, they're on their way home now. And uh, yeah, back to normal for whatever normal is. So carrying on with the Shibashi lessons online. Um, the hall is, is still closed in Holcombe. Um, but uh, regardless of what happens there, um, I'm reluctant to go back to live classes because most of the people who come are in a very vulnerable position and uh, I think uh, we'll just see how things pan out over the summer. So we'll keep going with, with Facebook for now. Um, as always, if you've got anything you really want me to go over, anything you're not sure about, anything you've forgotten, and you want to concentrate on them ping me a message or drop a comment on here and we'll make sure we include it in um, anyone local who wants to pop by for a chat when it's not raining um, you're also more than welcome to pull in and if I'm about I can uh, wander outside and, and we can uh, socially distance catch up it'd be great to see people I do see some people when they come in for their eggs um, we've also got Jane's not not to Jane Tog who's on here. Um, Jane Dyson's uh, Logan Brew Jelly is for sale in our egg shed at the moment. That's raising money for the food bank. So um, if you fancy pop pot of that, then do call in for it. New chickens as well this weekend. So we've got an extra thirteen now come straight from the farm. So if you see. Um, as you're passing some uh, half plucked uh, in middle of malt hens wandering around then they're, they're the new girls that have come in and uh, they'll take a little while to feather back up but um, give them a couple of weeks and they'll start looking a lot prettier so yeah we've been uh, um, training them where they've got to go to bed so uh, night times is a bit fun and games at the moment but they were pretty good last night so new hens have arrived um, what else have we been up to? Just really catching up, doing too much talking, I'd say a little bit of drinking, listening to some good music and uh, just just relaxing. Um, it's been lovely, it's been really good. Hi Dave. So today I'm going to do um, more of the chair routine for anyone who needs it. Um, so if you're used to doing the set standing then still do it standing um, you'll know the moves you'll know the standard versions of it but I'm going to be seated for the majority once we get into it so that the seated people get a bit of attention today keep drinking lots of water it's uh, going to rain later I think today so um, not going to be able to get much done outside hopefully you had productive weekends we're going to start with a warm-up. I'll just uh, uh, waffle on a bit longer, see if anyone else joins us. Um, oh, look, I'll stop it itching this itch. I put aloe vera on it and it, it is a lot better, but oh, it's just so annoying. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, all quiet now here. We're getting to the end of the Leavers hoodie, so hopefully by the time we finish this week, um, that will die down a bit and uh, we can get on with some more day-to-day -day stuff uh, works great and we've had plenty of it but it does get in the way sometimes 
and his back so uh, um, I can give you my undivided attention shouldn't have to deal with anything now so starting the warm-up remember don't overstretch anything anything hurts stop just work within what your body allows as always You've got to enjoy this. If you don't enjoy it, you won't do it. Standing up. Hi, Paul. Morning, morning, morning. Right. So, standing. I'll move my chair a minute. Feet facing forwards. I have to go back quite a way because I've kind of got the chair in the right position for today. Feet facing forwards, hip bone distance apart, and we're starting at the top of the body working down. So turning the head from right to left. Just going from side to side, stretch out, start to get the neck moving. As you're stood like this, try and make sure you're relaxed, especially through the buttocks. You're not gripping with the lower back or the glutes to get yourself up straight. So start to relax through the body. Then drop that chin down and roll through from one side rolling through to the other side and again stretching out through the front of the neck and bringing the head back to center just to move the eyes so we're going to go up down right and left up down, right and left. We're keeping the head still, just moving the eyes as far as they'll go, up, down, left and right. One more, so you're getting a really good view of your nose, and working the eyes. And back to centre, I'm going to tense the shoulders up to the ears, and let them drop. Bringing the shoulders up, let them drop. And again, up and drop. Then we'll do one shoulder, bringing it up to the air, letting it drop. Remember it's shoulder to ear and not ear to shoulder, so the head staying still. Alternating sides. One more to the other shoulder, let it drop. Then a full arm circle coming forwards and around. So, so far, if you're seated on your chair, you should be able to do all these seated. And then taking the arm back and around. Just trying to work the shoulder, loosen it up and changing sides, so coming forward with the arm, circling forwards, and keep those circles as small as you need to, and then taking the arm back and around. Hands coming to the front of the shoulders, now circle that elbow forward and around. Working deeper into the shoulder. And then coming back. So elbows leading the movement. Changing arms to circle that elbow forward and around. And then we're going to take it back. Just 
drop the arms. We're going to swing them around the torso. So swinging the arms, bringing the hands up to tap the front of those shoulders we've been working. And then we'll side stretch through the body. So we're stretching and reaching up with one hand, pushing down with the other. Now let me see, you, you know where my hand goes. So we're going up with the hand, turning the head to the side and then looking up with the eyes from that top hand, reaching up to the sky, pushing down to the ground, changing arms. So a big reach up and a push down. Turning the head, looking up. You should feel this in your stomach muscles. I know that's where I feel it. Uh, through the side lines of the body. So we're trying to get length in both sides. Changing arms, big reach up and push down. So lengthen in both sides, don't bend at all. Still keeping central through the body. And the other side, big reach up and push down. Again, you can still do this, all of this seated in the chair. Drop the arms, stretching across the chest, so pointing out one arm, pulling back across the chest, turning the head and looking down towards that pointed finger. Take a couple of breaths in and out. And changing arms, pointing out and pulling back across the chest. Should notice with all of these that you'll find one side's much easier than the other side. We've all got a bias. Give one more to each side, stretching across that chest. And the other side. Being conscious of where your weight is through those feet, keeping equal weight through both feet. Dropping the hands. So the arms are going to come forwards now, soft elbows, just to circle at the wrist. So we'll circle both hands in. I need to change this round a bit because I always start circling in first. And then circle the hands out. So the fingers are relaxed and soft. Just moving at the wrist. And we'll make two strong fists and we're going to circle those fists round now. So we'll circle both fists in. Just that small circle. And then circle the fists back out again. So it's just getting some movement through the wrist. And then a big stretch out of those fingers. Stretching them as far apart as possible and as long as they can get. Back into two fists and a big stretch out through the hand, through the fingers. And one more, so release it into the fists and then stretch out those fingers. Relax the hands, turn either hand, palm up, and gently pull back on the fingers with the other arm to stretch out the inner wrist. So again, you might feel this in your shoulders if you're tight across the top of the chest. Don't force it. Just try and feel a slight stretch through that inner wrist. We're going to change hands, stretching out the inner wrist. So again, bring the arm lower or higher, wherever you need to get it to get that stretch. And remember this little set with the arms in front, you can do any time throughout the day, especially if you've been doing a lot of things with your hands and they're starting to seize up. Just take a moment to circle those wrists round, stretch the fingers out and then stretch the inner wrist. Heels the hands to the back, kidney wipe in, down and out down and out. Shoulders should be moving a little bit freer now, hopefully. 
and wherever those hands can get to. So it doesn't matter if the hands don't meet, one hand can go higher than the other. Just trying to reach back, pushing down, warming up the lower back, dropping the hands, and a little shake. We're going to take those hips round, so hips and waist going round. Trying to get your head to stay still and central. The movement's coming from the ankles moving around and the waist and hips. Back the other way. Trying to get a little bit of movement into the lower back. And down to the knees, take your feet a little bit further apart if you need to, so near a shoulder distance. Rubber the knees in and around the knee socket. You can keep the back of your neck flat, so you're looking down to the ground to take the strain out of the neck. And if your knees are okay with this, then we're going to have fingers on the knees, circle both knees in. Again, all of this so far, you can do seated on the chair. Take the knees out and around. If it's too much for your knees, you just keep rubbing those knee joints. And then fingers on the knees or higher up the leg if you need to. Going to look up to the right. Come back through centre up to the left. Going from one side to the other. So bend the knees to the centre, straightening up if you can to the side. Straightening up the back of the legs. Feeling how tight you are in the hamstrings. You might feel this in the One more to this side, then straightening back up. So we're going to take any foot, a little bit forward, lift and lower the toes. Gently stretching out that calf muscle. Then turn the foot to the side, knees pointing out, foot's pointing out, lift and lower the toes. The whole leg is turned in that hip socket. Don't turn any further than it wants to go. Stepping back, same with the other foot. So very slightly forward, lift and lower at the toes. This is where you might notice that one of your legs will turn a long way to the side, the other one won't go anywhere near as far. Doesn't matter. You take the foot out to the side, wherever you can comfortably get to. Lifting and lowering the toes. The torso staying forward, head staying forward, standing legs staying forward. Stepping back, I'm going to lift the heel up and then my shoe will fall off now. Circling the ankle round, all joints of the foot staying flat to the floor. Circling one way and then back the other way. Dropping the heel down, changing feet. So heel up. That's my crappy one. I haven't got as much movement in this one. Some unknown reason. Back the other way. So again, all of this now you can be doing on the chair quite happily. Dropping that heel down. And a heel tap to the front and to the back. So to the front, no problem. If you're on a chair, bringing the heel up in front of you and reach into it with the opposite fingers to tap near or somewhere near. Doesn't matter if you're, you're, you're getting miles apart on this, it's just in the general direction. Now if you're on the chair, you're keeping going forwards. If you're standing up, then bring the heel up behind and tap the heel to the rear. So you're trying to 
kick that foot up towards your bottom, torso staying straight, wrong hand then, <laughs> not leaning back to do it, and then back to centre, we're going to march through the feet, so you can still do this bit seated, toe, toe, heel, heel, outside foot, outside foot, inside foot, inside foot. So you're transferring your weight around accordingly. Toe, toe, heel, heel. Out, out, in, in. 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 Right, warmed up. Sufficiently, I hope. What else have we got here? Hi, Sue. Hi, Debbie. Hi Ellie, morning, oh you're working, poor thing. So, Ellie's working, and it's obviously said sorry I can't join in, but she's still watching and keeping an eye on what's going on. And I would like to uh, stress to anybody, if, it, if you don't feel up to it, then just tune in to watch the video. See what nonsense I'm talking, watch the moves, put a bit of music on your end because um, you probably can't hear mine too well if I turn it up too loud, it's a bit distracting. But just watching through the moves, thinking them in your brain so you can have a glance at the screen and think, oh yeah, Sharon's doing that rainbow one now and your brain's thinking about your body doing this, it's still beneficial. So don't feel like it's a cop out or anything. You know, just watch through. It will de-stress, hopefully. Um, so hopefully it will de-stress you a little bit, Ellie. And uh, it, it's just helping to cement the, all of these movements into the brain so that it becomes more natural, and more elegant and less clunky when you try and practice for real. So well, I'm gonna go onto the chair now. As always, standing people, knees behind toes. <clears throat> so when I'm saying knees behind toes, I'll come to the front just to remind you. Toes are facing forwards. We will be out at, at least shoulder width apart with those feet. As I'm sending the body up and down, down, I'm here, so the bottom's going very slightly back, straight up through the torso. My knees now are well behind the toes, and then you're coming up again. So it's a down movement, you can feel the weight shifting towards the back of your feet as you go down and up. Very small movement. It looks like we're going up and down a lot more of what's going on with the hands but as you look down at those feet you should clearly be able to see the toes the knees are coming slightly forwards they have to but they're not what we don't want to see so i'll just do it is the whole body weight coming forwards and then the knees going down if i look down now i can't see my toes so that's that's wrong that's right. So it's very slight difference, but you have to keep telling yourself to do that. So knees behind toes. The other golden rule, 70% effort. You all know that one. So if we're on a chair, sideways so you can see, try and have a chair without arms makes it a lot easier. The arms of the chair will get in the way of your arms. Feet have got to be flat to the floor. We're looking at a nice right angle shape coming down through the leg here. So the front of the leg is straight down to the ground from the knee down to the heel. Feet are flat to the floor. You're sitting up in the chair, not right at the back of it, so have some space between the back of the chair and your back. And think about almost trying to stick your bum out a little bit. So you're tipping your pelvis forwards, 
bottom feels like it's sticking out. Not actually physically sticking it out, it's more a feeling of sticking your bottom out. So you straight up through the torso and you've still got your golden thread pulling you up nice and tall. Turning back to forward. Adjust yourself in the chair, standing people, relaxing into Wuji. Feet facing forwards, hip bone distance apart to start. Hands relaxed down at your sides. If it's easier, people in the chairs, hands just resting on the top of the thighs. And slow that breathing down to you relax into Wuji. Checking your position. Checking you've got equal weight going through both feet. Knees are soft and relaxed, buttocks are relaxed, pelvis very slightly tipping back, shoulders are relaxed and down, arms are open if you're standing, soft elbows, soft wrist and hands. Head's nicely balanced, so we've got a good chin position, not clenching with the jaw at all. And there's our golden thread Taking you a tiny bit taller, taking the weight off the spine. And breathe. Just take a long, deep breath. In through the nose. And breathe out. Slowing the breathing. As you breathe in, let all the muscles relax and feel the belly expand. As you take that out breath, you're starting with the pelvic floor muscles, squeezing that air out all the way through. You need to breathe out through the mouth, but if you can, breathe in and out through the nose. So we step out to commence, at least shoulder distance apart with those feet. If you're not sure of your shoulder distance, especially hand of the seat of people, start with your feet together, turn the feet to the heels together and then straighten them. That's the minimum. If you need to go a little bit wider, take it a bit wider. So feet facing forwards, make sure those heels don't turn in. We're going to breathe in, bringing the hands up and breathe out as we lower them back down. Breathing in. So as we're seated, hands are returning to the thighs, breathing out. Still making this rugby ball shape in front of us. Backs of the hands leading up. And then the heels of the hands heading down a little bit closer to them. Breathing in. Arms coming up. And breathing out. Okay, broadening one's chest so the arms come the same, breathing in and out and wide, breathing out, coming back down, so an in breath, opening up the chest and an out breath, bringing the hands back down, hands soft and relaxed, keeping elbows soft and relaxed. As the arms come out wide, don't throw them back too far you get here. You should still be able to see those fingers at the corner of your eyes. And back down. Breathing in. Broadening one's chest. And out. Keep 
keeping those elbows soft, really making sure you don't throw the arms back. It's a smooth and gentle flowing movement. Last one, breathing in. And out. Okay, dancing with the rainbows. So we're gonna breathe in, going over to one side. Turning and breathing out, eyes following that active hand coming over. Now if you're breathing in, if you're standing doing this, you're shifting the weight from one leg to the other. As you're sitting, the weight should shift from one buttock to the other. Breathing out. So as you turn, you feel the weights get heavier. I'm going over to the right now, so into the right buttock as well. That's where the weight's heading. So you still got that shift through. We paint this beautiful rainbow. Breathing in. Hands come into the top of the crown of the head. Breathing out. Breathing in. Head's just turning from side to side. And out. Coming back. Center, breathing in. Going to bring those hands down, crossing at the wrists. As the hands come up, it's your in breath, turning the hands for the out breath. Now we're skimming the top of our lap, seated. So breathing in and. Circling arms, breathing in. Try and be conscious to straighten up through the torso for the seated version of this because it's quite easy to slump and low down. So breathing in. Concentrate on being as straight as you can, especially from kind of your belly button up through your nose to the crown of your head. Keeping the front of the body nice and long. And out. Do one more, breathing in. And out. Now hands are coming to the front, facing palm up. So drop one hand backwards and around and reach forward with the other one. Breathing in. Up and over past the air, breathing out as you push forward, dropping the arm, turning the body, breathing in, up and over, breathing out. Now this is much more restricted sat down, so don't try and bring the arm back too far, only go to wherever you can comfortably turn the body. So we're looking at a turn of the waist, arms coming down, up and over, breathing out. So it's twist waist, swinging arm. Really important you're remembering to twist that waist. Breathing in. If you need to, keep it much smaller back here, so you're not hurting the shoulder. Breathing out. So do one more each side. Breathing in and up and over. Breathing out. Make sure you're not holding any tension in that thumb. Breathe in, reaching away and back. And then breathe out. Crossing the hands in front of you. 
Hands come into the sides, feet are still flat and facing forwards, row in a boat, breathing in. Hands coming up, breathing out as the palms face the floor, coming down. Breathing in, backs of the hands facing back. And breathing out, palms down. So you're really rotating those shoulders now as you turn the backs of the hands to face back. Big breath in. And out. If you're standing, make sure you're not lifting the heels up at this stage. Breathing in. Do one more. Big breath in. And out. Now we're going to hold in a ball. So same hand and foot. So I'm going this side. Lift the heel as we come over with the arm. Breathing in. Hands coming across. Palm up. Turn that hand round. Back of the hand up as you lower the heel down back to centre. Turn the arm to the side, other way. Palm up, heel up, breathing in. And out. Breathing in. Reaching as far as you can comfortably go. Breathing out. Eyes focusing on that active hand, breathing in, not dropping the head, just following that hand with your eyes, breathing out. Now as you lift that heel up, if you can lift the other heel a little bit as well, breathing out. Breathing in. Big lift on the heel and a little lift on that standing leg. Breathing out. Again, you should be feeling that weight shift through the buttocks. So almost all the weight. I'm going to reach now. So I'm reaching my left hand, left heel coming up. As I do this, all the weight's coming off that left buttock in the chair. And as you breathe out, the weight's equalising. So last one to this side. Breathing in. And out, lowering the heel back down. Both hands now. So we're taking both hands, beach ball size distance apart. Heels flat to the ground. Breathing in, both arms to the side, breathing out, back through centre. So carrying the moon, breathing in and out. And in, top arms coming at a right angle from the body. Bottom hand, palms facing towards that armpit. Breathing in. You're looking back, glancing those eyes under the armpit. Carrying that moon. Keeping the elbows soft, keeping the hands soft. Check what those thumbs are up to. And only turning to the side as far as your waist will let you. Breathing in. You're still feeling a slight weight shift through your buttocks in the chair, not as much as the previous move because we're not lifting the heels up. And out. And last one to this side, breathing in. And out. So as the hands return to centre, we're going to take an in breath but carry on turning. Breathe out, 
push that heel of the hand away, breathing in. So a twist waist, push palm, breathing in. Out. Breathing in. So remember, you're not pushing out across the body. You're coming out from the shoulder, wherever your torso is turning to. So turning here, then the arms coming out at the shoulder. So turning back. Out. Last one to this side, pushing away and back in. Remember, we don't fully straighten the arm, you're still keeping that elbow soft. Turn the palms face you, bring this elbow up. Both hands now, eyes following the palm of the hand, playing with cloud. Change arm and breathe out. Changing hand, breathing in. Top elbow leading the way. So whichever way you're going, it's the top elbow that's going there first. Eyes are glued to the palm of that top hand. Breathing out. So if you're struggling to keep this top elbow up, don't let it do that, bring the whole arm down lower. Breathing in. And out. Checking the thumbs haven't stuck up in yet. But I see a lot of in class, people will start doing this. So make sure you're not doing that, keep that thumb down. And back. I'm going to drop the arms to the side. I'm going to take this leg, take it half a foot forward and turn it. So we've now got the foot turned and the knee pointing out the same direction as that foot. Other foot stays facing forward. So we're going for scooping the C out over the side. So we're crossing at the wrists, bringing the hands up. And down, breathing in, and out. So go as far leaning forward as you can feel comfortable with, and out. The same with going back, but try not to drop the head at all, keeping the head above the heart for this. Breathing in and out. And what I haven't done is the feet for this. I've been concentrating so hard on the arms. So as we change sides, we'll bring the feet in. So stepping back with the foot, facing forward, turning the other one out. Now as we go forward, we're going to lift that back heel up. You breathe in. Drop the heel, raise those toes. Just breathing in, lifting the back heel. And breathing out, back heel drops, toes lift. Breathing in. And out. So it's the same movement as the standing people are doing. Breathing in because we're seated, we can still get those feet working. One more. Breathing in as you reach forwards and out as you come back. Toes have gone up. Hands to the waist. We're going to drop that toe, push the heel to the hands away, lift the back heel and pull those fingers back. Breathing out, just push away. In 
as you come back. Playing with waves. And in. So still moving those feet. Soft arms, soft at the elbows, the wrists and shoulders doing most of this movement. And do one more. Look in the direction your hands are facing, coming back to centre. Hands to centre, step the foot back, make sure it's facing forwards, turning out the other side. Breathing out. And in, as you go out and away, opposite heel lifts, as you come back, raise those toes, pushing away, heel coming up, toes coming up. Try not to sink too much into the body, so be conscious about front of the body staying long so you're not stressing the back any more than you have to and don't reach too far away it'll look like you're going a lot further than you think you are 